Okay, so to use a bot, if you want one of the bots to uh, work in your collection, um, you find the agent, The every bot has an agent. And so you can search by agent type bot. Um, there's not that many of them. So just doing that will get you them. Um, and then whichever one you want to use. So if you want to use the reciprocal relationship bot, um, when you go to the profile, you can see it's user, hit manage, enable management, and then add your collection and grant access. That's all you have to do to get a bot to start working in your collection. I want to ask who is, does any of us have permission to do this or no? Yes, yeah. everybody, everybody who can manage operators. Okay. Okay, thanks. Um, the main thing is you should never attempt to edit these bot agents or the operator accounts. Um, only our database team should be doing that. Um, so the only thing you should ever do is what I just demoed is pick your collection and hit grant access. Um, and then if you don't want the bot working in your collection anymore, you just come back, find your collection, hit revoke. Any Wait, questions? Yeah, I have a question really quickly on the relationship bot, given sort of the change in identifiers. Does that also pick up um, GenBank relationships or is that separate? This is just between Arctos records. Okay. That, that's all the, all, so what the reciprocal relationship bot does is it finds a record that has a relationship to another record and that other record doesn't have one back. So it adds one so that each record has a relationship to the other. That's all this one does. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Are we by default um, already added to these, um, all of these bots or do we need to uh, opt in as it were? You need to opt in. Opt in. Mm -hmm. okay, thanks. And Teresa, just to clarify, um, are all the relationships like defined? Like if if one record says sibling, will the other one when it's reciprocated say sibling? Yes. So all those uh, relationship types have um, an opposite relationship. So yeah. okay. it'll pick whatever the opposite is for the relationship that it found. Okay, cool. And then does it require now that the, the initiating... Um, that all that both of them have Arctos squids. It might it, 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 in order to be able to create the relationship. So yeah. if you have, if you're pointing at another at another record or another collection, saying this is a parasite of, or this is the same of, or a si sibling, um, then it needs to be in the correct format to initiate the reciprocal. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So it's only going to make relationships between. Really, it's making them between the Arctos URLs, right? Um, so they have to both exist in order for it to work. So do we need to change the identifier type or will that be done automatically as part of this other issue? So if we have something right now that's identifier and has it says host of and, it's, and it is in the correct format, it will automatically change, be changed when Dusty's done implementing this tonight to Arctos record grid. So we yes. don't need to do anything there. Okay, great. Correct. All right, thanks. Um, any other questions? I'm gonna stop the recording. <laughs>